and Jaren scored 30 points since the bubble. Uh, was that one of the best games you've seen? Uh, absolutely. I mean, he was a force on both sides. Um, you know, obviously offensively scoring inside, scoring outside. I thought he set a tone in that first quarter for us, blocking a number of shots. He really got rolling in that first quarter. And then, you know, when we needed some crucial buckets, put him in ISO situation, post-up situation. He just made great reads, great plays overall. Um, you know, he felt his force tonight and his physicality on both sides. It's definitely one of the most impressive, if not the most, so far this season for J.J. Yeah, I mean, I thought his teammates uh, found him, you know, just in, in just kind of our motion offense. But we definitely made it a point, you know, whether it was out of a pick and roll, uh, you know, lob, you know, we ran the back pick play. We put him in the post. We got him cutting to the elbow ISO. We, we definitely made a concerted effort to do that. Just knowing that we just got to have balance. You know, um, we knew they were going to throw, throw a lot of job, which they definitely did throughout the game, but especially in that fourth quarter and just having that balance of pick and roll, motion play, dribble handoffs, post ISO, something that we're continuing to work on just so we have better balance. Uh, just uh, what, a, what, a, what a great performance from him, you know, just continuing to stay ready and putting the work in the last couple of days, just finding his legs, finding his rhythm. I thought he came in immediately and was, didn't, didn't shy away from anything. He was when he was open, he was going to shoot it. He had that uh, that backdoor cut, uh, which was huge. I thought his defensive urgency was really good. We keep stressing to him, you know, being square on the ball, not getting hit in screens. He's just been taking that stuff to heart, you know, one day at a time. Uh, really good bounce back for him, you know, after, you know, uh, his return. This was definitely the most impressive game so far. Big lead go down to I think six or so. Mm. Just you know, how difficult is that to to, to maintain leads? Because we've seen a number of times this season teams lose those big leads. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely difficult. Uh, you never want to script it that way. Um, you know, credit the Magic. They compete for 48 minutes. I said that before the game. This this team is relentless. Um, you know, obviously, we got a little casual there with just some of our late turnovers, getting it into our offense. You know, credit them. They threw out that full court press that just kind of threw us off. So, you know, some stuff that we got to go back and watch and review, um, you know, later this weekend um, on the court. You know, but then when we called timeout, we got organized. Luckily, our guys remained poised. We didn't, you know, let it crack too much. Uh, and then we came up with some big time plays. You know, Jaws attacked to the rim. Him. You know, we missed some, a couple of open shots. JJ with a big finish, but then we got the crucial stops. You know, once we kind of figured out what they were doing late game offensively too. Another third point game for Jai. Is there, is there anything that he can do that, that surprises you at this point? Uh, I mean, every night's an opportunity to, to just make winning plays for us. I mean, he when he makes winning plays in different fashions, you know, as a playmaker, as a scorer, as a defender, um, you know, just his spirit, his energy, you know, just every night's just a joy to watch him play. And when it impacts winning, that, that's the best version of all. Coach, how would you describe the game of Paolo Manchero tonight? I mean, fantastic. Uh, Paolo is going to be a problem for many years um, in this league. Um, you know, obviously they're featuring him in a lot of different situations. The fact that he can handle, you know, and pick and rolls, create ISO situations, create advantages, had, you know, multiple assists tonight. Um, you know, as, you know, he gains the physical, he's already got a physical presence, but when he gets that, um, you know, it's one year after another, just the, the speed of the game, the physicality of the game, you know, he's just got great poise and feel to get to spots on the floor. Um, he's, you know, I, I talk about guys that have gravitational pull um, in this league, and there's not a whole lot. Um, he's definitely going to be one for them. That's going to create so many problems. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he and I talk about that. I mean, he, he loves when he gets going defensively. He always talks about that. You know, shots are going to come, shots are going to fall, all that stuff. But he prides himself on the defensive side. That's how he gets himself going. That's how he gets himself talking to himself, the juice going and all that. Uh, but when he can get going on the defensive end, it definitely opens up the offense. And you get the first couple of shots to fall, three inside. Um, that, that can build for a really nice game for him. Uh, take advantage of the off day tomorrow, practice on Saturday, get ready for Sunday. So um, I just want our guys playing, you know, better basketball day after day. That's all I'm focused on right now. Uh, whatever's in the cards is in the cards for our players and, and all that stuff. But I'm just focused on the team getting better. And we got a lot to work on. Good? Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank yep.